Hello guys and welcome back to a new vlog. I think I started my last vlog here as well. But today is Thursday. I haven't vlogged for the last couple of days just because I've been catching up on editing and yeah, I just didn't really feel like it. Um, so we just had a bit of quiet start to the week. But I'm here now, so I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to start off with a little bit of an unboxing because I've received some lovely pieces. I've just got myself ready. I always feel so much better when I just have fresh hair, fresh makeup on, and like put a really nice outfit on. So today, I'll show you actually in the mirror. So I've got my khaki ASOS trousers on, which are so comfortable, a little bit big, so I've had to roll them up, but I think that's better because then you can eat all the food. And then I've got my Holland & Cooper sleeveless knit on. I've also got my Zara jacket, which is a khaki as well, and it's quite thin, so it's like nice to have as an outer jacket but also as well later on if it gets a little bit cold I'll just pop this on and it's quite snug so this is my outfit today I make sure at the moment that I'm putting on sometimes like a really nice outfit it just makes me feel a bit more productive so I have three parcels that arrived yesterday so I thought I'd wait until I came back oh did I want anything I've just seen an Argos van outside I didn't order anything. First up is from a PR brand called Harper. They really kindly sent me some Kate Somerville products and some TG products. Both both brands that I am completely obsessed with. Kate Somerville is a little bit more in the higher price range when it comes to skincare. However, it is one of those skincare brands which I would 100% recommend. The products are incredible. I have been absolutely loving them. So let's start off with Kate Somerville first. So first up, they've sent me over some new products. The Line Relief which is an under eye repair cream petite kate power cream this is an advanced anti-aging moisturizer i mean might as well start early oh a mini goat milk moisturizer cleanser this is a really good size for traveling so when we can a mini exfoliate cake dermal quench wrinkle warrior i apply it like here like i stretch my not stretch my skin but drag the product up from my face to my to my hairline and then from my brows to my hairline up here as well that makes sense so i've been really enjoying that so that's nice to have a little extra one. Oh, honestly tg is my hands down one of my absolute favorite hair products so first up they've sent a split end oh, split end repair cream which i am obsessed with and essential at the moment my hair's just been really struggling at the moment so i'm trying to take care of it i curled it a couple of times last week but i think that's just not good for my hair so i'm just going back to blow drying it here and there and that is perfect so split ends perfect also got a smooth booster booster hydratant i have one of these already but very handy so you apply this into your conditioner so it's an extra boost into your conditioner conditioner and this is designed to help smooth your hair which is incredible i actually have it on now you know just the smoothness i also have the heat protection which i love and oh it just smells so good this smells of coconut it's amazing thank you so much to harper next up is from a pr brand called little light dear amelia we hope this little parcel brings a smile to your day love laura louise and georgie oh oh my god <gasps> oh my goodness so they've sent over some Riven 108, which is, so we've got some milk and hazelnut truffle. Oh my goodness. So I got some Ren Evercalm balm, some SPF. We've got hazelnut truffle chocolate. These chocolate bars are incredible. And then we've got cookies. Thank you so much, little light PR. You're going to tuck into it now. Yeah, later. Okay, and last but not least, and I'm proud to say that because usually I have so many parcels. I actually think I have some today. But I actually wanted to talk to you about my bedroom. So I've got a few ideas and I'm getting really excited about what I am planning to do. So first of all, can you see this desk here? So that desk is going to go into the office. I'm going to keep that as my office desk. 
desk. It's just a really good size and it will go well, I think, with Hell's desk. Hell's has got this really nice wooden desk. So that will just keep it really nice and neutral. And then it kind of looks like that's her desk and that's my desk. And we have different like characters and like different style types. So yeah, but I am thinking about getting like a thinner console desk. I will leave a picture kind of style here. And then I'm going to decorate it with some picture frames, some dried flowers. I'm quite happy with having a big mirror on the fireplace. So yeah, I think that'll look really lovely. And it looks like a desk now. Like it looks like a desk desk so it'll be really nice to turn it into like a really nice like console table makeup setup in my drawers in my wardrobes i've got shelves which will be really nice for stacking like where i put all my makeup and like makeup organization it's quite nice the drawer of the desk it has a really nice drawer pull out things so it has all my makeup in for now but in the future i think it'll be really nice just to have it in a box that I put away in my wardrobe and that's just like a really nice like console display table. So that's the plan. Right, sorry, Hell is on the course. I'm trying to be a little bit more quiet. Okay, so next up is from Aloha's. It's more known for their footwear. It's a Spanish beautiful brand and I do believe they have brought out some knitwear. However, I have a box of shoes. So these are the West Vegan Grey. So they're vegan boots and I just thought they were so cool. Super classic like, and I I like the brown rim around it. I think that just makes it a little bit more day wear appropriate. I do have a pair of black boots. Well, I've got my clubby ones, which are like day wear. Oh, they feel so comfortable. I'll try them on. So nice. Like if I was going into London, just kind of like flares with some boots on. And they're a really good heel as well. So yeah, a really good heel, which I love. So I'll leave them down below. Well, they were so gorgeous. Also, I have done a H&M home order this morning at like six o'clock in the morning. So I've ordered some like candles and bits like that. So I will hopefully be showing you that in next week's vlog. Also, I wanted to show you, Laurie and his mum kindly surprised me with some pampas grass. They have pampas grass in their garden. And I was like, oh, like, like, is the pampas grass good? They kindly surprised me with some pampas grass. So I think that looks so lovely. I don't have to keep the green vase like that or get like a clear one. But at the moment, this is what it looks like. I think I've shown you this already. Hells is like, <laughs> I'm just gonna say what you've just eaten. It is 11 o'clock and the house has just had some rice, celery stick, and now she wants to taste the cookies. These cookies are so good. What are you gonna try? The double chocolate. Double chocolate. Double chocolate, double chocolate hazelnut. I like the, the lemon, ginger, and chai. Oh my god, they look unreal. Mm. 10 out of 10. Oh, that's the room. Dipping in. Oh, okay. Mint tea and a biscuit. Would recommend to a friend. Lemon, ginger, chia, almond biscotti, coconut cookie. And then we've got like a little chocolate drawer. These, oh my these God. are my favorite. We've got a sweet, sweet and salty, super coconut, hazelnut praline, and chocolate orange. Oh, this is limited. Oh, I wonder if this is a Christmas one. But yeah, they're like all gluten-free, organic, vegan. Yeah, really good. They are delicious. Having a breakfast. I know. We are just heating up the tartar, which we had yesterday. So I just got a delivery from Misfit. Vanilla vegan protein, which is my favorite. Also some apple and kiwi super green blends. Some happy inside out pre and probiotics. Double chocolate. Oh, a big black peanut butter and banana oh, yeah. chocolate. We got some more snacks. Brands are so jealous, too jealous. So thank you so much. We have up here, we got the, this was like a limited edition, the dark chocolate gingerbread, which is so good. We got the brownie. These are all the snacks and like some white chocolate ones and a peanut butter one somewhere. And then these new naked chocolate ones are really good. You liked those yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. And um, so yeah. Oh, it's from Curated to Grey. They're, I'm doing a collaboration with them. Jewelry pieces and also interior pieces, which I'm very excited. Yes, please. The first up, so pretty. I got this ring. Can you see that? How nice is that? So nice. So lovely. So I got those. And then also just some classic kind of like rectangle oval hoops, which will go really nicely here. I've also got from Aurelia kind of like this style, but longer. So they'll suit nicely together as well. 
So a really big thank you to Curated Grey for that. Helena, oh, no more onion, thank you. I'm so away from the onion. I wonder if it was the onion. My belly's been bloated all day. So um, I think it's a mixture of lentils and onion. It's so good, it's just so good. So I'm willing to take the risk for this beautiful Tarkadal. I think it isn't the Tarkadal because I love Tarkadal. And usually it isn't. I don't know what it is. But we got some Tarkadal and rice noodles and Charles has added the rest of her sweet potatoes on hers. Delicious! It is super dark in here. Okay guys, so it is the evening now. Helena and I have been working. This week for me has been a bit more of admin a lot of editing and admin which is nice because it changes it up it's been a quite productive day i don't know when i last saw it i think i did a bit of an unboxing with you but it is thursday which means one thing and one thing only jacket potatoes it's just such lovely comfort food so i am going to do the jacket potatoes i'm gonna put the oven on they take about um an hour so i feel like that'd be good timing we also did an order well hell's parents did an order with odd box so we've got some very muddy potatoes what is odd box like what is the, like the food, food that gets rejected. yeah so like what you see in the supermarkets they're actually picked out because they're perfect vegetables which is so me so odd box is oh odd vegetables Ah, Helena's parents kindly gave us their subscription. So we've got some potatoes, we've got some sweet potatoes, had some cabbage, onions, radish. So yeah, no, really lovely. And it's just really nice because it's just got a mixture of vegetables in it. So I'm going to clean this now. Give it a proper one. It's really muddy. We do our classic tuna cheese. What else do we do about salad? Do we need to get salad? Oh, lettuce, haven't we? Yeah, we have a living lettuce. So yeah, so we've got everything. We were going to go out, but it's horrible outside. So I think we're going to just, I think we're just going to stay in, have a super chilled one. Just have one G&T. Yeah, we've only got one base. One each. But I feel like that's a good thing because we're not feeling that great today. So yeah, so I'm going to whack these in the oven. <laughs> So I've just started chopping up, watching Gilmore Girls, having our drink of the Thursday evening, which is gin and tonic using blood orange. And then also I got kindly sent from my managers, Brokers Prune and Dry London Gin, and it's very nice. So I've chopped up some tomatoes, also some radishes, which we got from Oddbox. We also got some lettuce leaves, cheese is out, more salad is out. So yeah, just waiting for these to cook. They went in about 20 minutes ago. So we'll give them another 40 minutes. Good morning guys. The reason I am vlogging at eight o'clock in the morning, looking like a sweaty mess, is because it's Friday morning. We've just done a workout with Helena's mum and godmother. Godmother. And um, we do it for like, is it 20 minutes or half an hour? 25. 25 minutes, which is really lovely. And doing it Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which is really good. But <laughs> we've just had the loveliest delivery from Helena's parents, they've sent us over an order from the Wine Society, which is very exciting, especially as it's a Friday. So, how do you want to do a, a little, yeah. should we do a little haul? <laughs> a haul of what our we've wine, got. Our wine haul. Oh, oh my God. They've spoiled us. Oh, there are some goodies in here. Oh my that. God. My mum's favourite carver. Lovely. I think there's two of these. This is Champagne, not from Champagne Region. Champagne, but not from Champagne, Champagne Region. Region. Oh, Classico my goodness. Oh, Ooh. Have we ever had the move before? No. Oh, so. my dad always puts it in food. Like, always in food. Well, Maybe I not this one. It, <laughs> it can be used for like Oh my god, I love well. that. Nice Another album. white. Lovely. I feel like you're going to get me into fish, white. Fish dishes. Oh, Rioja. That's my favorite. Yeah, another, another one. one. And I think another one more. Beautiful. Thank you very much to Mr. and Mrs. Gray. So I Thank just you so much. You're very welcome. I've just filmed two different IGTV reels to go on another townhouse and also my channel. 
So first up was creating this like granola mix smoothie bowl toppings. So definitely check out how I made this down below. I will leave my, I think it should be live before you see this. And then I filmed how to make a, I want to say like forest berry chocolate. What's it called? What's that chocolate called? Mm. Like forest. forest. Gatto. Black like, forest gatto. Like, yeah, like a black forest gatto and it's got like chocolate and cherries. So that's what I've done with this smoothie bowl. So I did with the vegan misfits chocolate protein powder, which is incredible. Their protein powder is delicious. I don't know if I showed you an unboxing of it. We got that and vanilla. And then I added peanut butter, chia seeds, and just some water. And it is delicious. So we're gonna tuck into our breakfast now. 10.30, so we're gonna tuck into breakfast. Oh yeah. A very nice parcel from Ren. I'm doing an event with them on Tuesday and Helena is joining me. But they've kindly sent me some pieces, so I thought I'd share it with you. So first up is the Ren. This is the new eye cream which is coming out. It's their brightening dark circle eye cream. They've sent me over some more bits. So they've sent me a Mount Lay eye massage tool. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. From Perla. What, from my head? Yeah. Oh, so when we go for runs, so we've got cold ears. Yeah. So awesome from Tala. Cycle shorts. That'll be really cute for summer. Helena is literally giving me evils right now. And then... Hi, I'm size eight. <laughs> Please don't... And then, I feel like it will fit you though, babes. And then a really cute crop top. How cute! And the worst thing is, orange is like Helen's favourite <laughs> But I'm gonna look so nice. <laughs> Yeah, that is so lovely. So thank you so much. If you don't know who Pauline Paris are, Pauline Paris are a very beautiful, high quality French craftsmanship. Craftsmanship? Craftsmanship leather brand they are absolutely beautiful in the conversation of price range they are probably on the lower scale when it comes to like designer prices so i went for numero huit huit h-u-i-t what number is that eight how do you say eight wheat not wheat <laughs> wheat they just come so beautifully oh it's beautiful it's absolutely Stunning. So I have the Numero Nerf in the cream, but this, I've got a brown bag, well, this kind of color bag. How pretty! Oh, it's, I love this bag. I just think it's so stunning. And it's such a lovely, like, in the summer as well. Could you imagine that in the summer? Beautiful. Look at that detail. And then it has a long strap as well. So yeah, I got it in the brown and I think that's such a lovely color. I think this is the caramel. They've just brought out a darker brown, but I feel like this is a bit more of a versatile color, an easy wearer. So yeah, so a massive thank you for Pauline for sending that over as well. I will leave this in the description box down below. But we've just had a very nice morning. I've just done my makeup with you guys and my stories, made some smoothie bowls. And had the loveliest deliveries. Hauser's has got her um, furniture bits arriving today from, what's it called, Futon? Futon Company. Futon, she's ordered one of those um, shelving ladders and a bedside table. Good evening guys. So if you watched last week's vlog, then you'll know that it is 4.30 and it's a Friday night and we had a very lovely delivery from Helena's parents sending us a order from Wine Society, which included some champagne so helena's gonna do the honors this week what glass would you like <laughs> helena likes the little ones and i felt like the big ones it is champagne time whilst we finish the last couple of hours of work I'm gonna do a takeaway tonight which will be lovely struggling with the last few hours of work i mean i built a table oh yeah helena got her bedside table and it's really nice and now we're kind of distracting ourselves with looking at beds um side tables for our new sofa which is coming pretty much hopefully by the end of the month just a pro here yeah, we've got our sofa coming at the end of the month, which is really exciting. And we saw this really nice coffee table, like side table, which would look so nice. Yeah. Oh, I just kept pouring, sorry. Yeah, so we're just kind of procrastinating for work. Yeah, cheers, Babs. Cheers. Oh, sorry, I filled you up. I was getting really distracted talking to the vlog. Bye, vlog. Ah, oh, delicious. See you in a bit. Hang on. <laughs> Oh, you don't use the product inside it. Oh, they're cool. <laughs> she had her glasses on. <laughs> I look a 
a mess. I literally look like I've been crying now. <laughs> so we are, I think it's just because I've got a red nose from outside. We've just been um, for a walk and we just got some tonic, some crisps. We are now sitting down, all the candles are lit. We're gonna watch some TV now and food is on the way. So we're gonna crack on with that and we're starving. So hopefully we will get this, the food soon. Oh, hello. Ba ba boom. I'm so excited. Okay, these are your chips. Can I open it just yeah. for fun? Oh, I feel like I have to try it. Do it. I mean, it's only going to make me fatigue. That's my. This is your one. Mm. A little bit soggy, but I think that's why you need the travel. Whoa. 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 Oh. <gasps> okay, so let's put it on plates. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Oh my god. I feel like that's so you can wrap it up from the yeah. bottom. So I've gone for vegan chicken. House has gone for halloumi. And these are the French curly fries with alioli. Oh my goodness. We're gonna tuck in, carry on watching TV, yeah. and enjoy this. So I'm gonna leave you here and good night. Helena's making some pancakes. Oh. House has made some little stacks of pancakes. They've got egg, banana, some Misfits vanilla protein, which I do have a discount code, so I'll leave that down below. And some chickpea flour, was it? Yeah. Yeah, chickpea flour. They look so cute. And they worked really well, actually. We didn't put any more liquid in there, and I think that's just right. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you very much, House. It looks delicious. So we just had the loveliest breakfast. I've just put on a, oh, so both actually items I'm going to show you are new in. So I kind of got sent this khaki oversized jumper from Forth and Breckless. And then this coat with an attached hoodie is from River Island. I got it in my true to size, which is a size eight. And it's perfect. I wasn't too sure if to go size up or not. And I'm so glad I just kept to my normal, normal size. And then I've just put my Chloe bag on, got my sweaty bag, Betty leggings on because you know and then I have my tote bag which is going to be for shopping and I just thought the, the green and green go well together um so yeah and I've got my scarf in there we've got a bottle of olive oil in there so that's all topped up for um when we go to source we can use that to get our olive oil and I've got my scarf in there as well just in case it is cold and my gloves so yeah so we're gonna go down to source and then oh my god Literally, she's so freaky. <laughs> we're gonna get down to Source and then we're gonna go to Northcote Road. Have a little mooch around, maybe grab a coffee, grab some bits and bobs. They've got some really nice like markets out there as well, like fish markets, bread markets. So yeah, a really lovely Saturday. We have got Mexican night tonight. So we're gonna do chips and avocado, like guacamole, and then we're gonna do like lettuce tacos with like fish in them. Oh hells, we need to get pisco sours and pisco sours. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> Yum! Yeah, it's a good evening, guys. So it's a lot later now. <laughs> it's a lot later now. We did a big food shop, which was like, I think that's our biggest food shop ever. Since Apart from the first, the first one. one. But tonight we are doing a Mexican night. So that's going to be really exciting. Little change up in the alcohol department we're gonna be making some gin sours we were gonna make some pisco sours but pisco is really hard to get hold of the only place we could find it was in a like wine license wine cellar place yeah and it was really expensive it was like double the price which was online so i think we're gonna order it online for the future we're gonna make some gin sours we're gonna make some homemade chips like guacamole and chips but they're gonna be like gluten-free these here these sweet potato wraps and you just put them in the oven and you just like chop them up into triangles i'm gonna make that with avocado guacamole and then we're also going to be doing some prawn Ta like corn tacos but lettuce cups so that would be really lovely and we're gonna do like a cabbage slaw sweet corn slaw um so yeah that would be really nice so i thought i'd show you what we do and kind of like the recipe around it and yeah hope you guys enjoy so first up we need to make what do we need to make first should i make this sugar syrup yeah 
First up, we need what to make. We're gonna go to make that one. We're gonna make the thing. Oh, what, so should we do the food first? Yeah. And then. Because it might not get hard and like crystally if we make it now. Doesn't it not? Sugar syrup lasts forever. Yeah. yeah. Um. It. Yeah. We we need we need some help. We need some courage when it comes to making some food. So I I suggest I make the sugar syrup now. So then we can drink whilst eating. Okay. Do we think? <laughs> um, or we could just do gin and tonics for now. Oh, I don't know. Oh. It's so hard. I mean, a gin and tonic is an easy bit of courage whilst we're waiting. So should we just what make? What do you call it? Courage. Courage. <laughs> Um, so let's just do a gin and tonic I'll for now. I just call it talking juice. Talking juice. Talking. These are from the White Company. My little brother Ollie got them for me, which was lovely. And then we've been having them with blood orange at the moment. It's so nice. Place around the corner. Um, and it's like a really fancy like deli place. And they do. I'm not kidding you. I love blood oranges. But hands down, this is the most yummiest blood orange. But, I mean, it should be. It's £1.20 for an orange. I feel like that's illegal because I swear oranges are like 20p. If that. If that. And, um, yeah. I'm buying oranges for one pound twenty. Welcome to London World, huh? So I will be on gin duty. <laughs> gin duty. We're gonna be having Fortnum and Mason by my lovely auntie Sarah. So can I make the avocado? Ball? Yeah. Yes. On it. Do you want some olives? Snack on. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? We also got some olives. So we went to North Coat Road. I film. I think I filmed some bits, but the um, it was like chucking it down. Yeah. It was chucking it down so i couldn't really feel much but if you live around the like clapham, clapham common um like clapham area there's north coat road i feel like people will know about it anyway but we weren't really told about it like everyone told us about abbeville road but no one said about north coat road which we're quite shocked at because it's so much better than abbeville road like in our opinion like it has so many more restaurants it has those of like grocery stores and everything so we got some of these olives from like an olive deli store and they're like orange and mustard seed olive i think they've got garlic in them as well yeah. should i give them a go oh babe mm. oh my god the orange is so nice mm. this is us this weekend we paused gilmore girls we weren't supposed to be watching gilmore girls on the weekends <laughs> but uh right i'm gonna put you on a little time lapse and I've been busy so I've just made some guacamole and I've done coriander, chilli, salt and pepper, olive oil and then I've just marinated the prawns and I've just done garlic, oil, tiny squid of honey, chilli and lime so they're just gonna sit in that I might add a little bit more oil but they're just gonna marinate in that and then the juice of the lime is gonna really slowly cook sorry the prawns so then when um, we put them in the fryer they're gonna be beautiful but they're marinating there Helen has done the sweet corn salsa is that yeah. correct and it's got jalapenos onions sweet corn uh, tomatoes peppers coriander and raw onion is there a sauce that's gonna go on top of that no, it's already no that's marinating. oh fab and then you're going on to the Easy Taco Slaw, which is bread cabbage. by Jemima. <laughs> Jemima 19 at Gem Jemima Pantry. <laughs> at Gem's Pink Pantry. <laughs> so what's the slaw? Uh, red cabbage, carrot. Nice. Spring onion. Nice. More jalapenos. Jalapenos. More lime. Limes. More coriander. Coriander. And Garlic flavor, Yum! Actually. Right, I'm making sugar syrup now. A little bit different. I feel like these are going to be quite dark. 
gin sours, but interesting. We've got coconut sugar, which makes it a little bit healthier, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we've got some dark coconut sugar. So that's just going in with, it was like 150 millilitres of water. And I've done 200, 200 of coconut sugar. I'm not too sure, but it'll do. I'm sure it'll still be really nice. I don't know if to actually put more in. Should I just put a little bit more in? Two ratios of coconut to one ratio of water. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And then we've got these, oh, classic meals. I've just got stuff down me already. We've got these leftover jars. So we're gonna use these to put them in. And yeah, we're gonna put them in the fridge. So then they're ready for later. So this is Hell's and My Starter. We've got some gluten-free sweet potato wraps that we've done as like little crisps. And then we've got like a little avocado guac and then a little salsa verde. It's got jalapenos. What's it got in it, House? Jalapenos and parsley. Jalapenos and parsley. And that's it. So we're going to tuck into this and we're listening to... <laughs> what is it? The Coco? <laughs> the Coco uh, song playlist. So yeah, we're going to tuck into this and then carry on with dinner. Today is Sunday. We've just got ourselves ready. I have been up since half seven, which has been quite nice because I love waking up like on the weekend really early and it just feels like the whole world is asleep and I just absolutely love it. So I got up, made myself a cup of tea in bed, watched some vlogs and did some work, which was really nice. So I did that. We had a really lovely night last night, me and Hells. It was so delicious. Um, but today I am in the same outfit because the sun is out and I really want to get a picture of it But yeah, I wanted to get a photo of this outfit because I really liked it for once I have found an outfit which matches my Nike trainers, so I'm gonna get a photo on our little walk today it um, Today we're gonna do like a Sunday roast, so I'll probably talk to you guys through that feeling super like happy I can't believe it's been like two weeks in the place so yeah just really enjoying it all we have some really exciting things coming up like especially next week we've got some lots of like home bits arriving which will be fun and we've also got a builder coming in to remove the landlord's old desks and tables so yeah i feel like a bit of a it's a big next week is a bit more of interior stuff which will be really fun so hopefully you enjoy this definitely check out next week we have an ikea order h&m order Hells has ordered stuff from futon a bit of a decorating going on and we have had confirmation on our sofa i don't know if i've told you this or that this already i'm not too sure but i'm just looking to sell my sofa to my friend she's looking to move out in june so i just wanted to send that across to her just to see if she liked it or not so yeah it's a lovely day today so we're gonna go on a walk good evening guys so helena and i are setting up to do a little bit of yoga oh should i put on the the pod oh yeah let's put on some make you happy de-stress or sleep make you happy well de-stress is that'd be quite yeah. common put a couple drops in oh it smells amazing Oh, so good because those oil drops will last forever. Two hours. So it looks like this, and it is just amazing. You can see the steam coming out here. So you've got that going. So I'm gonna put that there so we can visualize. Oh my god! Oh, that smells lovely. That smells really nice. So we've got that going. Little setup over there with the candles. We've got a neon candle here. And this is the make you happy, and that smells wonderful. So look at our little yoga setup. It looks lovely. So we've just done a lovely cat muffin yoga class. 20 minutes, half an hour. How's is just gonna get in the 
in the shower, well bath, sorry, and we're going to, well, I'm gonna start prepping dinner. We're gonna do a roast dinner um, with these sausages from, we've got these sausages from Waitrose. These are the vegan leek and mushroom, no, mushroom, yeah, leek and mushroom sausages, gluten-free, and they were three pounds, so that's quite handy. So we're gonna do those, sweet potato, normal potato. I'm just gonna do like one pot of like potatoes and carrots and then cover that in like honey and some seasoning and then going to boil the broccoli with the peas. We also, Hell's made this gravy last week and it was so delicious. So that's, we had loads left over. So that's defrosting now. So yeah, all on the go. I really love doing a roast dinner. I just think it's just so lovely. This is our odd box basket. I got this from my friend Katie. Yeah, it's really cute. So we've made it into our little, our little vegetable box. On a little bit of vlogs. I find this so therapeutic, just like chopping up and watching videos. First up, I've done the sweet potatoes, potatoes and carrots, and I've done um, garlic, onion, thyme, um, oregano, salt and pepper, and olive oil. So that's just gonna go in the oven now. And I don't really put a timer on, I just kind of look at it, but it's kind of like 40 minutes. So that's gonna go in, and then I'm going to look at doing something with this. Um, and then yeah, and then the sausages actually take a while. I feel like I'm gonna leave them in for I think last time it said half an like yeah 13 minutes but i'm gonna leave them in probably for half an hour and um half them so the inside cooks a little bit more and see if that works <laughs> So everything is prepped. So we've got that roast in a way. It looks so good. Look a bit dodged right now. Um, they got a little bit squished on the journey home, but I've actually cut them a bit open so that when I put them on top of the vegetables, they're just going to crisp up really nicely. So I've done a little bit of a cabbage. Um, I looked up a recipe and it was like honey, um, like balsamic. So I've done that with a bit of salt and pepper. Broccoli's in there, just got to put peas in. This is defrosted nicely. So yeah, everything's good. Everything is clean. So I think I'm gonna close the curtains and get it all warm in here. I might open the bottle of wine so that it breathes because, you know, I've gotta breathe wine. So yeah, a really lovely, super chilled Sunday. <laughs> So guys, dinner is ready. Potatoes look good. They just definitely needed a bit longer for sure. <laughs> Cabbage, Hell's gravy looks good. Broccoli and peas, we've started on the wine and we're watching Bling Empire, which is really fun. Unreal. It's a bit addictive, it's isn't it? Addictive. Oh, the most ridiculous. It's so good. So we're gonna serve up and tuck in. Everywhere.